songs it's okay it's fine. we didn't write them what's up y'all what's up welcome to another great podcast Stir-da. we stirring it up you were supposed to go first no yes. oh i'm thinking of wine and cheese wednesday okay she's garbage <laughs> what's up y'all what's up again i'm lachey I'm your half black, half British, made in Greece, born in Turkey, ice cream loving dietitian. Ooh, caught you off guard there. Mm. What's up, y'all? It's your boy. Oh, and I'm engaged. Engaged ice cream loving dietitian. You know what? Let's start okay, over. I was... No! Hey, y'all. I'm Lachey. I'm your half black, half British, made in Greece, born in Turkey, engaged ice cream loving dietitian. Boom! This house. How over here? What how? Me. What's up, y'all? It's your boy. The lid loving, hot sauce savant, the man, the myth, the magnificently beautiful when it's dark. <laughs> Jimbo. Okay. So, as I say every episode, Thank you guys for supporting us. We really, really appreciate it. We love you guys. You guys are the best. Keep it up, please. Um, Before we get started, we have to have our random word generator for our cuss word. Please be something good. Rear. Don't me to redo it. Kind of. Ranch. Ranch. Yes. (laughs) Ranch. So ranch will be covering all of our cuss words. Like ranch, 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 hip hop apotamus. Yep, okay. And it's my time to shine. Yes, it's your time. Do you, boo boo? You know the part before hot sauce savant, lid loving. So, today, if you didn't notice my theme, I'm wearing reds and we're going to talk about it in Jimmy Sports Talk, but it's because we're in the playoffs. Playoffs, thanks to that guy. You're talking about playoffs. 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 Yeah. So, uh, because Eugenio Suarez played a big role in that bubble, bubble blowing champ. Um, so yeah, the lid today. It's an all black Cincinnati Reds hat. It's from the our 1940s team. It says Reds in between a different C than what you usually seen. It's pretty thin and it has like two points at the end um, of the two ends of the C, and then it points out. So it's. The it gap kinda, looks it, bigger as well. The gap is bigger and it's skinnier. Kind of looks like a fire fire like a firefighter's. It reminds me of like a fireman's. I don't know why, but okay. it, it does like a logo. Um, all black, forty seven brand, forty seven. Reach out. I'll keep shouting you out if you send me endorsements because I love your hats. Yeah, literally his favorite hats. So fit my head so well. Oh my god, they're freaking amazing. Amaze balls. Okay. okay, so let's dive in. One of these days, I'm just going to eat. <laughs> Do you? Okay. okay. It's today in the news. You could have been like, you know what time it is. Now I'm going, it's today in the news. <laughs> you guys never see. I'm, so, I might leave off our little today in the news intro so you can see my. Okay. Maybe. We'll see. Maybe I'll just like put it in a little corner. Okay. So we are going to start off this segment with a topic that we have actually talked about in the past. Tory Lanez. He's back. So. Back and I'm better. What had happened was. What happened was. Obviously, I assume all of us know about the whole Tory Lanez, Megan Thee Stallion drama. (laughs) Um, So that happened. And Tory Lanez fell off the face of the planet he went silencia super silent no one heard from him he didn't post on anything until a couple of days ago 
he posted, you know, sorry to my fans for being so quiet. I'm breaking the silence tonight at 9 p.m. Okay. So then 9 p.m. rolls around and he's not on social media, not doing anything, whatever. And I actually found all of this out at 11. I don't follow him on anything. Um, 11 p.m., I went back to his page and saw that he still hadn't posted anything. So then the next day, apparently, he had dropped an album. And people are really upset about it because they're like he, you know, went super silent, MIA, comes back, doesn't even explain anything, doesn't apologize about anything, and just drops an album. So people are thinking that he's kind of profiting off of the issue and kind of Megan's trauma to give him financial gain. And so people are not the happiest about it. Yeah. So essentially, just to reiterate and be an echo, um, he's trying to take his silence and take his lack of apology to, for people to buy the album. Kind of like when Jay-Z and Beyonce went through their thing, their albums, went the, his apology album and hers were through the freaking roof. Yeah, but I don't know if it's an apology album. That's I don't know if it is, but I think I he know. knows people will be interested enough to listen to see if it is. Yeah. But knowing it's probably not. Because I think he admitted that he did. I don't know if he... I think... I feel like he did apologize, though. He said he was drunk. It wasn't much of an apology, but he did make a public statement. Yeah. But it wasn't what the public wanted. And, and like, there are a lot of people on social media that are actually defending him because they are using the excuse of there's two sides to every story. But I think people are so selective on when they want to use that excuse of when it's beneficial to them regardless she was at she, she had her back to you and you fired a firearm in her direction like so it's i just have no ridiculous. sympathy unless it was like he was playing with the gun and it popped but i i heard he literally it just came out that from a witness that he had yelled dance when he shot kind of like dance varmint like from uh looney tunes so yeah i mean it's just people are i yeah i don't know i think he's just got that chihuahua attitude it's just one of those things. Syndrome. It's like people wanted to be so Team Megan when all of this happened. And now that he dropped good music, people are trying to defend on why they want to listen to his music. And I know a lot of artists took him off and, and he had like really a diss shitty. track. He had a diss track to like JoJo and uh, I don't Kalani. Know who was her. Is, that who her, who is that her name? Kalani? Yeah, that is someone. She, the she, her I'm and JoJo dropped, song, dropped him off of their songs and he like made like a track saying like, I held your baby and like we used to talk late nights and all this BS. But anyway. Yeah. So anyways, that's that. Um, Next, Florida. Florida. Home of Florida. You know, I was in high school and when I found Duval. out that Florida is Florida. was Florida. <laughs> and I'm and pretty I sure like, I oh. just found out, so I didn't know. I think the Jaguars play in like Duval County or something, or like it's city of Duval. So I'm wondering if Lil Duval, because he's from Jacksonville, I wonder if that's what his name stems from. I haven't done any research, but I just made the connection like two days ago. Fascinating. I think it's because he's from Duval, so he's Lil Duval. So I don't know what his actual name is. That would make sense. Yeah. But I didn't know that until they were like, for the Jack Monday night game, they were like, in Duval. I was like, whoa, whoa, hold up. Wait a minute. I said, hold up. Wait a minute. (laughs) So... That's not the part not today the part. in the news. So the today in the news is Florida has dropped all of their COVID restrictions, like no masks, nothing. It's free reign. So I've changed a political stance. Just kidding, but kind of. I am pro-wall, but I don't want the wall on the border of Mexico and the United States. I want the wall around Florida. Keep those people in there. I just we don't, wonder. Can we just like separate Florida? Can they be like a? Can we add Puerto Rico to the states and like replace Florida with Puerto Rico? I like that proposition. I like that a lot. I just wonder. I haven't, you know, really followed COVID. Um, I guess numbers or news or really I, anything. I know it's not good enough to just really. But sanction. I really wonder if they're even like on a downtrend. If they have flattened their curve at all, regardless, it's what you. Even if you're it's on down and you're flattening, pants. now you're opening everything up. So it's just right. But ch- then it's like people oh, are like, yeah going to be traveling out of state to go there. I don't know. It's stupid. Crazy pants, but, but are we so surprised? We have Florida? friends in Florida that we love. People like we love you guys, but like you're all the other people. Like the fact that it's the Florida Man Challenge or the we there's a reason that that's a thing. So like keep those people put them yeah. or can we like make a swamp designated to those people? You know, let's let's draw up some possibilities, and Question. we'll see if yeah. we can brainstorm a solid plan. 
All right. Jimmy Sports Talk. Jimmy Sports Talk. <laughs> My favorite intro to a segment today. <laughs> um, the Reds are in the playoffs, baby! First time since 2013, and the game that really mattered I stayed up for, but we needed to win one of the next three against the Twins, so I was watching last night. I had a long day. I didn't sleep well the night before. I was I have, watching I have night. this thing. It's called sports epilepsy. Where if I get too comfortable during a game, no matter how much I love the team, I'll fall asleep. And that's exactly what happened last and night. that's actually very true. He does do that. Even during my, I love my Cowboys, but when we have Monday night games, I can't stay and, up. And we usually go to my parents I'm always um, asleep for on the football, couch. and he will start laying down and getting pillows and blankets, and he falls asleep. He gets way too comfortable. I have to, like, stand up. So, or something. It's a problem. Sports epilepsy. If anyone has medication for it, hit my line. But yeah, so last night we watched the game. I she watched, watched the, the game. game. I watched the first three and a half. Innings. And I do not even watch baseball, but I was actually invested. Um, that that can be for another day. There was a lot of loaded bases opportunities. So it was a great yeah. game. But we, regardless, we freaking clinched. First time since 2013. Last time was kind of horrific. It was against her Pirates. It was bad. Well, the standing room only crowd trying to get under Johnny Cueto's skin, and they might be. So I'm not a fan. It's also why I think there needs to be a wild card series. If, you're, if any representatives of the MLB are listening to this, there should be a wild card series and not just one game. It's stupid. Um, so yeah, next. All right. uh, we're a little late, but the individual awards came out for the NBA. LeBron James did not get MVP, which I find BS. Giannis Antetokounmpo is your two-time NBA MVP. And Rookie of the Year, which everyone thought was going to be this crazy race. Is it going to be Zion? Is it going to be Ja? Uh, Kendrick Nunn, is he going to be in there? Wasn't even close. Landslide. Ja Morant won. One person did not vote for him. And he thanked them. He goes, I want to find out who it is to thank them because it's just more motivation. As if that guy needs more motivation. He... the the league has now been put on notice. Doesn't it, he have a little kid? He just got a little baby. Uh, it was her first birthday party in the bubble. And then they lost that series like in the next week. So he missed his baby's party uh, for like two more games. That sucks. But She's he's a uh, kid is a certified bucket. He's a point god. So, yeah. Cool. Um, this is going to be decided by the time this pod drops. But I'm making my prediction. Right now it's game six. It's going to be game six for... Celtics uh, Heat, and then also it's going to be game game six, I believe, for the Lakers. Actually, that's tonight. So game five is tonight, Lakers-Nuggets. It's going to be Lakers-Nuggets Lakers, are already on game six? Both are, yeah. Wow. Um, I think it's going to be Lakers-Heat in the finals, but for those that think it's going to be a sweep, which I did too watching this Heat team, I think it could go to six or seven. I think the Heat have some dogs. And Jimmy Buckets, he fears no man, even though he's playing against the greatest basketball player to ever live in Anthony Davis. It's gonna be, I'm excited for the matchup. Um, and I feel bad for the sports reporters that would usually get to travel uh, from L.A. to Miami for the series, and they don't. So that sucks. Mm, college football. Uh, all teams are college football playoff eligible, so this should be a really fun short season to watch. There's My Longhorns really could do it. Um, but teams, there are teams outside like the Miami Hurricanes, the Cincinnati Bearcats, it's a possibility. Memphis Tigers, like teams in the American, like it would have to be some crazy stuff, but it's not going to be your normal college football season. We're not going to, we might not see Alabama, Ohio State, uh, Clemson, Georgia, or Oklahoma in there. So we'll see. And yeah, that's it for Jimmy Sports Talk. That's it. That's it. All right. Good, great, grand, wonderful. So now we're going to move on to the topic of debate. James actually doesn't know what this topic is yet because I found it. And I was like, this is really funny. I kind of want to tell him live on the pod. You know, they say there are no secrets in a healthy relationship. And she thinks because there's a ring on her finger, she can start keeping secrets. And I think it's a load of bull. Because who has the ring? And who has the secrets? Me. Okay, ready? Topic of debate. Can vampires get AIDS? <laughs> What an amazing debate. That Honestly, I think that's what killed off the vampires. Honestly, that would make sense. 
Can vampires but, okay. get AIDS? Oh my god! But okay, but this is the thing. I feel like I think no. I think the same way. You you know how we smell milk to see if it's bad. It doesn't require taste. It requires smell. You think they can smell the blood? I wonder they... if they can smell the AIDS. I bet you vampires could smell. I'll bet you. Well, or they must have some form of test, like sticking your toe in the water. Okay, but this because is also, they're also the thing. it's not blood to blood. They're drinking it. Correct, correct. But they they also are kind of like um, what's the word when you can't die? They're immortal. Immortal. That's not true. If you, well, if, if you do this, yeah, uh, through the heart, the heart or, or I think maybe completely cutting their head off. Yeah. But other than that, they're kind of like self healing. So I assume that would mean anything internal as well. Even if you're drinking blood with AIDS, you know? But there's a movie. I don't remember what it is. It's zombies. It's not vampires. But Dawn of the AIDS drinking vampires. Yes. Um, the zombies in the movie don't attack sickly people. Like, oh, it was it was World War Z. Is that was that? Yeah, it? they figured out because there was a blonde, a bald dude, and they're like, "Why are they not attacking bald people?" It's it's not because they were bald. It's because they had cancer. Yeah, and so. I wonder if it's kind of the same thing where vampires just don't they, have they the have desire a sixth sense. and they're just like, no, not that one. Because, you know, the zombies also stayed away from sick people. Like they just didn't. I, is... I think it's like, I guess their blood just didn't smell good. And so that's why they didn't. But I say no. I don't think vampires can get AIDS. Or what if AIDS is like a delicacy? You know how we eat poisonous Ooh. puffer fish and it's supposed to be a dangerous Ooh. food? And it's so rare depending on where Which you're AIDS at. AIDS is not that rare. Otherwise, there's hella vampires in Atlanta right now. So watch your backs, people. <laughs> um, but very interesting. I, I, I would I'm, say no. I'm team delicacy. Wait, but so you think that they can get I think it's AIDS? like risk or reward. Like you can only consume a certain amount. You know how like if we eat too much fish, you could get mercury poisoning? Mm -hmm. Maybe they can handle a certain amount. But because I don't, I, I, if, if they've lived, if they've survived this long, I don't, I think AIDS ain't shit. Yeah. Like, I, they I survived the they bubonic can. plague, measles, freaking. This makes me want to watch Underworld the Black now. Are the Black Plague and the bubonic plague the same thing? I don't know. Hmm. So yeah, I'm team. I don't think they can get AIDS. I don't think so either. So I guess it's not really a debate, but it's a very fascinating thing to talk about. I love that topic. Right. Okay. I'm glad you liked it. I'm glad good. you liked it. Okay, next on the list, celebrity fact check. I also don't know anything about this one. I bet she did this. So, there is a horsefly, okay, that was discovered in 1981. I, ever, I, I don't remember who, I know what you're going to say. Are I you dead I just ass? saw the article. It's named after Jay-Z and Beyonce? Beyonce. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So, there is a horsefly just that was discovered this. in the 80s, and it was, it had only just been scientifically described is what they say in 2011 slash 2012 real big booty or something? and they named it after beyonce so it's scaptia beyonce is the horsefly's Why? name because there's golden hairs on the fly's abdomen and, and, and because she, of her hair i guess how, so how, how luscious. and she always like wears gold yeah. like very often hell yeah, yeah i almost yeah, take it a, a little i think by the name in the fact that it's a horsefly i kind of take a little offense like she needs to have like a, I don't know, what's a luxury, like a butterfly needs to be the Beyonce. Yeah. Like she's a queen. That's, or a bee. She's queen bee. Yeah. But when I first, it's still pretty freaking cool. Yeah. I mean, how legit can you be that you now have an insect named after you? Okay. Here's my, here's my pitch to Disney Pixar. Okay. A Bug's Life 2, unless that's already a thing. A Bug's Life 3, because I think there was a 2. I think there was we'll a 2 We'll say A Bug's well. Life 3. And there is a pop star named, like, because it was a flea that ran the circus or something. I, I'm sure they could find some pop. I wish it was a bee because it could be Beyonce. But there should be her insect featured in it, and she's a pop star, and they have to, like, save her from. That can be, like, Queen Beyonce. Yeah, or something. Queen oh, bee. like, it's a fly. It's a horse fly that dresses up as a bee, and she's Queen Beyonce, and it's, like, exposed that she's not a bee right and she's they have to like es protect her and escape from all yeah. her like fans okay well i think yeah. we're on to something yo pixar we can roll with this so yeah all rights so reserved to mixed with shay and jimmy oh my gosh okay so fact check that i i actually did I 
Um, but yeah, very fascinating to me. Can Moving you find on. a fact that I don't know? I know, clearly Can not. you do it, please? Because at least this one, it, you hadn't told me the whole thing. And I was like, oh, I've heard that. I've heard that. This time I like told you what it was. Yeah. I, I had saw it briefly. You know how you get your all your notifications on your home screen? Mm-hmm. And you act like you know what's in the news because you see a headline? Yeah, 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 That's yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> Okay, moving on. Lachey's fun food fact of the week. Lachey's fun food fact of the week. But nutmeg, consumed in large amounts, is a hallucin- hallucinogen. How do you Christmas say? is about to be Hallucin- litty. Hallucin- hallucinogen. Hallucinogen. <laughs> Yo, um, nutmeg it, party. Yeah. So, but it's it's in pretty. I don't want to say high doses. It's not like pounds, but I think it's like. 50 grams in one serving, which I believe is about like two, three teaspoons. It's in one serving. Can well, I know it's two and so, two point something ounces. Can give you really bad, bad side of it, side effects, including hallucinations. So it's just one of the side effects. So like yes. it's not recommended if you want to trip no. to eat a ton of nutmeg. No, it's actually like it can be really bad you like you shoe get nice. vomiting you get shoe nice i've seen you do some wild stuff can you eat two point we'll call it four ounces of nutmeg what who you don't know who shoe nice is no the dude that'll just like crack open a bottle before it was like a thing on total frat move where kids would house a bottle he's housed bottles of vodka whiskey he's eating like glue don't do the nutmeg he's don't eating do. glue he's like i can't believe he's still alive and i did verify he is still alive i thought he was dead He's um, eating some freaking disgusting things. But like, yeah. Like, he ate a whole pack of cigarettes one time. Ew. Like, ate them. Yeah. Well, but yeah, so apparently, looking Shoe into nice. this, it's kind of an issue where people are abusing it. So, it's like, like Tide at Pods. Home, well, no, because Tide Pods you're not supposed to ingest at all. Bring back <laughs> Tide Pods 2020. And apparently, people are wanting the FDA to regulate it because that. Regulate people, how much nutmeg you can buy? Well, I guess so, because like people are literally abusing it in their homes because they find out that they can get high off of people, nutmeg. People. Apparently people are like snorting it. We and can't shit. do spray paint. You can't gasoline, tide pods. Like, can we stop being ridiculous yeah, and confusing. just consuming things for no apparent reason other than to mess with your body? Like when you're tripping, when you are doing this thing, it's your body telling you, please stop. Mm-hmm. This, we are not reacting well to this. Like. Yeah. So, yeah. Be careful with how much nutmeg you consume in one sitting. Yeah, so maybe be reluctant to come to our Christmas party. (laughs) Okay. Popsicle sticks. Trivia. Wow. I love you. Okay, so this one's actually, like, kind of intense to set up. Not in, like, a bad way. Um, but... That means she wasn't prepared. Sorry, No, people. no, 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 I was prepared. I mean so we have... Everything is generated. Because we're in a simulation? <laughs> yes. So there's multiple different categories in on this page that I have, and then there's different questions in each category. So first we have to figure out which category we're going to do. So, category 11. One, two. Flavors of pixie sticks. Five. Can anyone, if anyone can actually name me one pixie stick flavor, and the color doesn't count. You can't say purple, blue, pink. Name the flavors. Is that a thing? Are they, are they oh, how? I bet you they are. Fashion trivia. Oh, I Crap, will, I will fail terrible. miserably. Gucci. Let's see. How many questions are in this? I think... I mean, I guess. I feel like people don't, because I don't know how many, fa- I mean, we have a couple people I know that are into fashion, but like, let's, let's stir that up. Gosh, I love that I can use that all the time. Okay. Let I didn't stir up the, the stick, so you got to okay. stir up the 13, topic. 11, 12. Okay, movies and TV questions. Okay. Bet. That's good. So what's five plus five? Oh, never mind. Okay, I thought there was going to be more. <laughs> I thought there was going to be, like, different subcategories. That Kentucky education, boys and girls. I went okay, to Kentucky. Okay, number six. Okay, ready? Can't look. Which? Ah, oh, this is stupid. Which popular TV show featured House Targaryen and Stark? Who doesn't fucking know that? Vikings? 
Game of Thrizons. Okay, let's do the other one. So we oh. got five. Time out. Okay, these are okay. stupid trivia questions. Everyone must know these. It just asks who played Jack in Titanic. Leonardo deserves something though. Okay, deserves sorry. I guess this is just a really bad. She told you guys she wasn't prepared. She didn't do her research. Which cartoon character lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob Squire Pants. Oh, that's actually pretty <laughs> lit. That's clutch. Come on, give me something I know. here. Okay. I'm just going to scroll and we're just going to stop. Okay, brands. What is the slogan of Apple Incorporated? I, I didn't know this. They have a slogan. Um, onward and upward? <laughs> Think different. Think different. Mm -hmm. Okay. It, it fits. Okay. So now you learn something new every day, people. Yeah. Do you want me to do another one? Do one more. Okay. It sucks. It sucks. What is the name of the most memorable slash popular ballet of all time? Black Swan. No. Nutcracker. Yes. Good job. I've still never seen the Nutcracker and I've always wanted to see it. I don't know if I have. Music trivia. Which country did ACDC originate from? What? It's not America? Nope. Originate in? England. Close. What's, it's an island. Great Britain's an island. It's If we're close. Like we're... No, no, no. Like similar. I don't know. What's similar to Scotland? No. Ireland? No. What are other white countries? We were just talking about the the accent that you like. Australia. Yeah. Australia. Yeah. Really? Yeah. ACDC. Said what country did ACDC huh. originate in? It's my favorite accent. So if anyone wants to home wreck, you better have an Australian accent. Mm -hmm. And a big old booty. Okay. I think that's it. I think yeah. I'm going to need to find a new trivia page. Yep, you do. So. But Oh, you should know this. What is the national dish of Spain? Um, I always want to call it like papaya. Paella. Yes. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay. Hey, you want, wait. Paella story. Okay. My first ever paella. What ha Do you remember what was it, what the mystery ingredient was? No. Okay, I'm going to put an A, B, C, D for you all to choose. So let's do <laughs> All right. In my first legit paella, I had one at a bar that was like not paella. In my first legitimate paella. Wait, was this when we were in Barcelona? Yep. I took a bite and it had an additional crunch. And oh. I was like, man, what is that crunch? It was glass. There was <laughs> a piece was of, there was paella, a shard of actually. glass. Were we sharing it or something? I don't know. I but took yeah, a no, bite right. and there was a shard of glass in it. And we told the owner or the manager. And we didn't, I think. Did he do anything? I don't know if he brought us a new one. I don't know if we got, like, I think he comped, like, drank, like, you got him comped the whole meal at that point, and they didn't. He was nice, and he felt terrible, but we didn't get much Yeah, from it. that's crazy. That could have tore my insides up. I completely forgot Or broke, that. cut my mouth, broke my tooth. I was okay, so that's why I wasn't that mad. Like, I'm yeah. a pretty easygoing guy, but yeah. And kind of similar. Shard of glass in my paella. There was a time when Mariah and I went to Taco Tuesday, and in her sour cream was a piece of plastic. I remember that. Yeah, and they, it's because, like, they cut the top of the plastic whatever to, I guess, pour it out or it something. It must be, like, in one of those tubs. Yeah. And the, and the piece went in the... Yeah. yeah in and the all cream. he was like was, like, oh, I'm sorry. And she was like, okay, you need to do something, though. Like, this I is want really dangerous. this for free. Yeah. Okay, so that wraps up everything. Going to end it with our business shout out. Do you have troubles keeping things in your car? Do you have troubles... Attaching tarps to vehicles. Do you have troubles <laughs> fastening <we> <laughs> things? Have troubles no more. Oh, wow. No more strap. <laughs> the no more strap. I wish I had an example. I gave all the examples to my dad, but I'll have them. We'll do a trade ski because I still, the hoodie, Kelsey aren't. I still have to send your hoodie. I'm really sorry. Um, but yeah, go. I'll put their website and their IG handles. No more strap. Have troubles no more fastening your things all right so thank you guys for tuning in 
tune in every Tuesday. We drop our podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Um, we drop the video recording of every podcast on YouTube also on Tuesday. And then every Wednesday we have our Wine and Cheese Wednesday that drops on YouTube. So continue liking, sharing, subscribe if you haven't already, commenting. We really, really appreciate it. Let us know if you guys have any ideas for Pop School Stick segments, anything you'd like us to talk about, any business you have that you'd like us to shout out. We will do that. And remember, boys and girls, never trust a fart. Okay. All right. Um, also, I just realized I look probably super ratchet because one of my nails broke off. Sorry. Everything's fine. Hopefully you're distracted by my ring. Anyways. All right, so we'll see you next week. Thanks, guys. Peace. See you on the flip side. Ooh. Mm, mm. Hey, I'm jaywalking. You just can't see it. Mm. Close. I actually can do it really well, so I don't want to hear your shit. This ice box where my heart used to be. What's the... Let me hold you. A little bow wow. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Let me. <laughs> All right. How dare you? How dare you? That is mine. Not anymore. What's mine is yours, and what's yours is mine. What's yours is mine, and what's mine is also mine. That's my saying. No, you are so trash. Baby, can you shut the f up? I'm trying to record. So if Podcast. I would just like to... What's up, y'all? It's your boy. The lid-loving, hot sauce savant. The man, the myth. Generously five inches on a ruler. Jimbo. <laughs> okay. Okay.